Hey everyone, my name's Phil Searcher, and welcome back to another video with Stellarium. Um, Stellarium is again um, the awesome software that allows you to do pretty much anything regarding astronomy. Um, you can take a look at stars, you can take a look at planets, you can see um, constellations, you can do basically whatever you want. And what's cool is that it runs in real time. Um, currently, I don't have the time set to the current time. But, um, it, it does really move in real time. Like, if you start the program up and just let it sit, um, in a couple hours, the screen will be completely different because the sky will have moved in the software. It, it's really awesome. And another cool thing is that you can set your location. Um, so, um, it, it's an invaluable tool for... Um, amateur or um, prof even professional astronomers. Um, but let's get right into this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Zodiac constellations. Um, so let's kick this off by going through them. Um, right now, um, I think the Sun is currently in Capricorn. Um, and then it will, I think it's going to be going this way. It's going to go to Aquarius. Pisces, Aries, Taurus, whoa, <laughs> uh, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Let's see, I don't think I'm missing anything, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, and then back to Capricorn. So, that's the basic rundown. Like I said, I think I got all 12 constellations, but if not, um, Post down in the comments below if I'm a retard and missed any of them. And I should not have used that word. Dang it! I feel bad whenever I use that word because a lot of people are quite offended. And, um... I, I, I don't... I don't condone using it to... Um... Mean that anyone is dumb or stupid or... It's just a bad habit that I should probably break. But, um, moving on, um, yeah, so those are the 12 constellations, and, um, all of them have a, and not just the zodiac constellations, but pretty much every constellation in the night sky has a very deep, interesting history. Um, most of it involves mythology. And different cultures around the world have different stories about the constellations. In fact, um, some con some um, 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 some cultures, like between the Mayans and the Greek, um, even have different constellations in general. So it's really interesting, and there's so much content. But um, for now, I'm just going to touch on the Zodiac constellations. I'm not even really going to get into much detail on them. Um, I just wanted to give you a rundown of where they were and maybe a little bit of something you didn't know. Um, but, okay. Um, so, yeah, basically... <coughs> excuse me. Um, basically, the sun, from our perspective on Earth, the sun appears to travel through these 12 constellations throughout the course of a year. And it's because of this that the early uh, fathers of astronomy were under the impression that everything in the universe revolved around the Earth. Um, that's not true. Obviously, we know that now. But um, uh, to, to them, they didn't have any way of proving it, so they just thought, well, hey... Let's observe and go off of that. And so they did. Um, but yeah. Um, since we are revolving around the sun, that's what makes it look like the sun's moving through these constellations. Now, <clears throat> uh, the sun will reside in each constellation for about a month, give or take a couple days. And it usually doesn't run from like January 1st to February 1st. It's usually more of a, um, uh, like for Libra, I think it's September 23rd to October 27th or 28th. I'm not sure. 
exactly what days, but it's usually offset. It doesn't start right at the beginning of a month. Um, that actually threw me off quite a bit when I was a child. But anyway, um, yeah, that's the basic rundown on um, the Zodiac constellations. Um, this red line here, I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but it's called the ecliptic, as you could probably tell by now. Um, and it is the, the apparent line, the imaginary line, in the sky that the sun appears to travel on throughout the course of the year. So, if I turn on the ground, you can see that it'll rise over here. I, er, wait. No. Yeah. Yeah, it'll rise over here. I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a little awkward and a little bit uh, bumpy thinking there. But yeah, it'll rise over here and it'll set over here. So that's kind of interesting to look at with the ground view on. But um, yeah, so that's uh, what that line is called, what that imaginary line is called. Um, and as you can see, it does travel right along through the constellations. Um, now, a little interesting fact about the zodiacal constellations um, is the constellation that is smack in the center of the screen right now, Ophiuchus. Um, in, I think, 2012 or 2011, maybe, uh, it was actually said that Ophiuchus should be added in with the other 12 zodiac constellations so yeah why why add it in well as you can see the sun actually does kind of travel through Ophiuchus a little bit so a lot of people were saying hey you know this should be a thing you, you know it is I I think it wasn't it, it didn't have that warm over reception among the astronomy commu uh, community or maybe it was the astronomy community that suggested it I don't remember but it didn't have a very warm reception and um, I don't know if anything ever became of it uh, the last I heard is that people born after 2013 um, would have a chance of having Ophiuchus as an astrological sign, but I don't know uh, exactly how that's going, but it's just a little bit of an interesting fact, because for so long, uh, we only had the 12 zodiacal constellations, and now all of a sudden they're adding Ophiuchus. Um, and also, I might be saying that wrong. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um... It's not that I can't remember, I just don't really know. I got my source from Wikipedia, because we all know that's a great source. And, um, actually, I don't mind Wikipedia as a source. And I can go off on a tangent on that in another video. I don't want to derail this video much more than I already have. Um, but, yeah, so that is the, uh basic rundown of the zodiacal constellations um, I'm hoping that in the near future I will have more time that I can um, actually share more on the constellations themselves and um, give a little bit of backstory to each one um, I, I don't know I, I think it's really interesting the mythology and the stories behind them so, uh, so yeah. Alright guys, um, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, I didn't really go into very much detail, I just kind of visited on all of the constellations. But, um, if you have any questions, post them down in the comments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see. I really appreciate any and all support. And, um, until next time guys, take it easy.